Welcome back, everyone. We hope that you are ready for another great day at the 2024 Together Ensemble Conference. Welcome back to our online audience as well, who is streaming all across Canada and also all over the world. We are so excited to be back with you for a second day. We are joining you again from the Basili School of International Affairs. We acknowledge that much of our work takes place on the territory, on the traditional territory of the neutral Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. We are situated on the Haldeman Track, the land granted to the six nations that include six miles on each side of the Grand River. We learned so much yesterday, and some highlights for me includes the key takeaway from Helen Kurt's talk on the building of cities we want through adopting a futuristic thinking and also the four challenges she had us for us, which were to be bold, to think in systems, to collaborate, and design the future now. J.B. Gladu's talk on unlocking the hidden values of indigenous prosperity was to empower indigenous peoples to co-lead and lead projects as, to quote, the economic reconciliation is our competitive edge. I also had a great time covering conversing and discussing in groups during the Future Cities breakout room. And that was my key highlights. Yesterday was filled with inspirational ideas and insightful moments. When I think about Helen's talk and the panel she moderated, I think about the complexity of the housing crisis in Canada. We're faced with the converging challenges of affordability, land use change, aging in place, and diverse cultural identities. JP offered wisdom through his perspective with a reminder that the road to net zero runs through Indigenous lands. And the panelists on sustainable finance suggested different ways to achieve impact by investing in stabilizing the climate, investing directly into regions around the globe, and by leading by example. Yesterday, we were discussing and exploring topics on sustainable finance and future cities. Today, most of our discussions will focus on AI and emerging technology for eco-innovation. AI and emerging technology is a new topic for me, so I'm very eager to listen and learn more from all of our sessions today. We wanted to go over some housekeeping items for the in-person audience before handing the stage to Elizabeth Dubb for opening remarks. Main session and program will be in the auditorium where we are right now. And there will be breakout sessions towards the end of the day in breakout room A and breakout room B. Signs are posted around the venue to direct you to the breakout rooms. Just want to send a friendly reminder that volunteers and conference team will have a green lanyard on, like this one I have right now and what Leah has on. They will be able to assist you with anything you need throughout the day. We will also have a periodic break throughout the day where there will be refreshments provided for each of the breaks in the foyer right outside the auditorium. The bathroom is located on your left directly before the cafe, and there's others um, throughout the building and across uh, the courtyard. Now we have an allocated workspace room for you, and that's uh, across the courtyard, and it's signed as well. And this space will be open throughout the conference for anybody who needs to check emails, charge devices, or take some time for yourselves. And same as yesterday, the internet details for the venues are the YVI user is the CG campus guest, and the password is think tank, all together, lowercase. And for our social media, we will be using hashtag together ensemble. So for any of you who would like to share pictures from today, please also use that hashtag so we could repost them. And there will also be a Q&A period with every session today. A Slido link will be shared for both in-person and our online audience to ask questions. And for our in-person audience, there will also be an option to ask questions directly through a microphone, and one of our staff or volunteers will be helping with distributing the microphone around the room. Full program for day two is available throughout the venue, and you can also access that online at togetherensemble.ca. Now, we hope that you can stay for the entire day, but we understand if you need to leave early. Please feel free to recycle your lanyard at the door on your way out or to keep it as a souvenir. And now that we have all the housekeeping items out of the way, we would like to introduce you to our um, first speaker, which is Elizabeth Dove. 
the Executive Director of the United Nations Global Compact Network Canada. Elizabeth is a tri-sector leader specializing in social impact and sustainable strategies which engage the public, business, and the government. Elizabeth has worked as a senior staff and consultant on advancing a wide range of issues, including health, inclusion, affordable housing, empowerment of women and youth, the arts, and international development. Passionate about the power of collaboration, she seeks out projects that brings together actors from different sectors to create values for their organizations and the broader community. Through her leadership as a consultant, facilitator, and senior management manager, more children have found loving foster homes, concerned individuals in the government more easily dialogue on foreign aid, banks have adopted new ways to support Indigenous peoples, international development organizations have found new ways to partner with business, and regular citizens have discovered their superpowers as change makers. In addition to strategic subject matter expertise, Elizabeth has honed skills in designing learning and development programs, marketing and communication, sales, partnership development, and consulting. Please join us in welcoming Elizabeth to the stage. Thank you. Thank you so much for that kind welcome. I'd really like to start today with a bit of appreciation. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited that we've all managed to be here. And can we just have a little round of applause for our organizers, sponsors, and especially the wonderful volunteers? Yeah. This is a wonderful opportunity. Now, because we're at a university, I'm going to get juices flowing this morning with a pop quiz. I want to just have a bunch of people sit up straighter, OK? So what do gender equality, a living wage, and net zero goals have in common? I have two things in mind. Think about it. Ideas? I don't know if we've got a mic already. You might just have to shout it out. SDG targets, yes, true. That wasn't one of mine, but yes, SDG targets. Other ideas? Education. education, they require education, yes. Better life. Better lives for all of us, yes. Collective efforts. Collect yes, absolutely, collective efforts. What they also have in common is they are three of the sustainable development targets that we are off track to meet by 2030. They are also three that are squarely within the ability of business and other employers to influence. In fact, at the rate we're going, it will be another 160 years before we have gender equality. At the moment, a third of all workers earn less than they need to live, and nine out of 10 CEOs are not on track to their net zero goals. And I will actually say that I think some are on track because they move their goals from 2030 to 2050. Business and how they operate is central to our ability to meet the sustainable development goals. But we need business to move faster. We need them to make change in areas that impact a whole wide range of SDGs and we need them to do it within the areas where they are best positioned to influence. But you don't have to just take it from me. You can take it from my young friends. The automobile is a fad a novelty. Horses are here to stay. I think there's a world market for maybe five computers. Women cannot do men's work. Sustainability is important, but we have more urgent issues. 
History has taught us that the leaders who succeed are the ones who meet the needs of the future by moving forward. To achieve the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030, we need forward thinkers. Those who see the SDGs as a driver of growth, not reputation. Who are busy making progress, not just pledges. Who know sustainability is the future, not a trend. Because right now, only 15% of the SDGs are on track for 2030. Some are even moving backwards. And the majority of businesses aren't setting bold enough targets. Forward Faster is here to guide companies on the areas where they can make the biggest, fastest impact for 2030. Because sustainable companies give us the best chance of achieving the SDGs. But we need you to take more ambitious action. The people and planet of tomorrow are relying on the forward thinkers and doers of today. Don't fall behind the times. Move forward faster. The forward faster, it's really good. It's true, it's really, really good. <laughs> Thank you. The Forward Faster initiative of the UN Global Compact has identified five cross-cutting areas that are under the influence of business, and if they were to take ambitious action on, are our best chance at moving faster with more impact towards the sustainable development goals. Within these five are nine target areas. I'll breeze over them quickly because I know the text is a little bit small. But under gender equality, equal representation and participation and leadership across all levels of management by 2030. And another target for equal pay for equal work of equal value by 2030. With climate change, we are looking for goals that are aligned with SBTI and the 1.5 degrees Celsius pathway, but we also want to see a just transition from emission-heavy industries into ways of helping workers to transition to ways that are less carbon-intensive. A living wage, 100% of employees in a company across an organization earning a living wage by 2030, and establishing a joint action plan to influence stakeholders and supply chains of that same company. Water resilience, we've identified 100 prioritized water basins that desperately need the focus and attention of better water management of business, and of course, finance and investment across all the sustainable development goals. I want to stress that this is not a departure from asking companies to focus on specific sustainable development goals that they have influence over. It's a prioritization of cross-cutting areas where we need a lot more focus to help us move forward faster. I actually ask you at this moment to think about your favorite SDG. Everybody's got one. There's probably two or three you're working on intensely in your own work or in your studies. So have that in mind, that one you probably posed with a little tile at some point at some conference for that. Think about the ways that if these were achieved, they would positively influence that SDG. And maybe on the flip side, if they weren't positively achieved, how hard it would be to reach that goal. At the UN Global Compact Network, we are committed to helping companies set and meet ambitious goals. There are 21,000 companies around the world who are part of the UN Global Compact. We are the largest corporate sustainability initiative in the world. At the CEO level, all those companies have committed to our 10 principles, which follow along climate change, human rights, good governance, and anti-corruption. They've committed to trying to advance the sustainable development goals in the ways that are unique to their business and to reporting annually on their progress to us. Local Network Canada is one of 62 networks around the world. And we are there for companies, helping them in these number of ways, including peer learning groups, where they sit with a community of practice and work through challenges together in an open way, accelerator programs, where they go from, I'm not sure, to a well-articulated strategy that they can bring to leadership, 
and our academy, amongst other programs, where employees can be plugged in in six languages to learn and share a common understanding around things like scope one, two, and three, and human rights in their supply chain. So, I have a request of all of you today. If you're in business, seek us out. We are here for you. We want to put you together with like-minded companies that are at all different levels of trying to figure out how they can make a positive, ethical, and sustainable influence. And if you're not with a company, tell the companies you work with. Tell them about the Forward Faster initiative. Ask them to seek us out. Because we truly believe that some of the strongest hope and opportunity for reaching the sustainable development goals lie with business. However, as our CEO, who is the Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations says, that ambition also has to be paired with credibility and accountability. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for your opening words. Please, another round of applause for Elizabeth. I love the video that you shared, and I really do believe that moving forward can help, moving forward faster, it can help us meet these ambitious goals.